Oh God, is that you? I'm Mark Sawyer, I'm her father. Oh my God, sweetie, are you okay? I'm fine, Daddy, I think. She's been in an accident. I'm Dr. Zia, this is Dr. Bell Hart. She took a pretty good shot to the head, so we're going to get a scan, and then we'll know more. Oh my God, I was so worried when I got the call. You worry too much. What were you doing out at 3 a.m.? Driving around. I thought you were at Candace's sleeping. Emily's husband keeps asking to see her. Can I give him an ETA? I think you have the wrong patient. This is my daughter. She doesn't have a Sir, husband. we need to get her into this CAT scan. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that you and that spoiled, rotten boyfriend went and did something incredibly stupid. Sir, you can settle this later. Right now. I'm sorry, Daddy. We had to. You gave us no choice. No choice? You're 15! 16. Chris, to get her in the scanner. I can't believe this is happening. Sir, if my teenage daughter ran off with a boy, I can't even imagine what I'd do. But there's plenty of time to be angry. For now, let's just make sure she's okay. Okay, okay. You son of a bitch, you did this, didn't you? Damn right I did. I warned you to keep your son away from my daughter, and if you can't, I will. Look, it was crazy to run off and get married. We'll fix that. But this will ruin Ryan's life. His life? Emily was at the top of her class before she started wasting time running around the city with your boy. She's the one who's all over him. He quit the baseball team. If you keep her... Hey! Fighting isn't going to help your kids get better. We'll see what my attorney has to say. Your money is not going to get you out of this one. Look, Mr. Sawyer, I understand you're upset. Do you have a daughter? No, Then but... you don't understand. Unbelievable. You know, I'm not some monster. I just love my daughter. No one thinks that you are. I worked two full-time jobs to put her through some fancy school so that she could have everything that I never did. I promised her mother that I would give her the world. Yeah, I get it. How would you know? You're some rich doctor. He, my dad nearly killed himself working two jobs to support us. My brother and I joined the army to pay for college, and I get it. Look, sir, like I said before, I have a daughter. She's 14, and she's on the verge of God knows what. Exactly. And just wait until some rich kid starts putting thoughts in her head, making you the enemy. Listen, we're all guys here. We all know what we used to tell girls to get them in bed. But when it's your daughter, I just wish my wife was here. I don't understand. I thought you were fixing her. We're trying, but the problem is, on the way to the OR, her heart stopped. But it started again, right? You said she was stable. Yes, but our concern is that the temporary lack of oxygen to the brain may have caused a stroke. Wait, 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 wait. What? It, it's too early to know, but it's possible that when her heart stopped. So, what you're saying is if my baby makes it through the surgery, she'll probably have brain damage. Not probably, but possibly. My baby. I'm sorry, is, is there anyone I can call? No. She's all I got. Hi, I'm Chris Olson. Call your talent.